Hey everybody! Welcome to the video where I do whatever I want and today I want to try more as seen on TV products! Okay, well this one technically isn't as seen on TV, but it's a product that I really wanted to try, but I didn't want to make just a video about this, so I'm adding it with two other products that are as seen on TV. I've done a couple of these. This is number <laughs> So let's see if this one is as fun as the rest. Let's begin. So the first product I want to try is this crummy Vinny Vacuum. That is a terrible name for a product. Crummy? You're telling me that your product sucks. So apparently you just turn it on and it sucks everything up. Really fancy. Let's see if it turns on. Great. Off to a good start. It does not turn on. Do I need batteries? Are there instructions? Got this again. 12,000 RPM. Micro Vortex motor. Requires two AAA batteries. Not included. It's my childhood all over again. I'll be right back. And now I'm back. Okay, so how do I put them in? Did I just break it? Woo! This does not seem right. Where do I put the batteries? Oh no, now I can't get it back in. That's not going back in. Wait, I can't get it back in. Where do the batteries go? It doesn't tell you where the batteries go. So it requires batteries, but you can't put them in apparently. Oh, and I broke it. No, wait, oh, okay, batteries go there. There it is. And it still doesn't turn on. Come on, are you kidding me? Okay, oh, maybe they're in backwards. How do you know what the positive side of the- Oh, positive, yep, they're in backwards. So really, I'm just an idiot. Cross your fingers. Come on, man. Really? This is just broken? Useless. Oh, I got it! Ah, ah. I need crumbs. I'll get some sugar. Got some brown sugar, because obviously. That was for scientific reasons. Put some crumbs on the ground. Now let's see if my little guy, what else should I call you? Larry the ladybug? Let's see if you can suck. <laughs> Larry sucked it up! You work, little Larry! Wait, is it inside you now? <laughs> That's what he said, she said. Someone said it, I'll tell you that much. Let's see how strong this suction is. Okay, so I was gonna be like, when would you ever need this? When would you ever need a mini little vacuum? But I was thinking about it. What if you worked at an office and like you didn't want to bring in a vacuum or something to your desk? Cause like, let's say you eat chips on the daily and you got crumbs everywhere. So you just get this and it's not even that loud and you just lean up things. You just open this thing. Open. Open! And you just dump it out. I have to actually give this product like an A. It does what it says it's gonna do. I don't know how long it lasts, how strong it stays. It says it has 12,000 RPMs, but I don't actually know what that means. Next product! Laserbound USA. Repairs and seals tight with UV light. Oh, they rhyme. So you know it's real. You know it's going down when they rhyme. Batteries included! Yes! Oh my god, I appreciate this so much because it's not an easy, if you can hear me, an easy tear away thing. With most things, it's like you have to get scissors to open up these plastic things. Oh my god, what is with these stupid As Seen on TV products having diamond coupons inside the thing? Is this a thing that As Seen on TV has? Are they like in some partnership with Diamond Z4? Come on, no one is opening this product and being like, yeah, I have money to spare to buy on diamonds. Ridiculous. Oh, but don't worry, I also got bulbhead.com stickers. I needed this. Thanks. Y'all better send me some money for promoting you like this. Show. Sure. Now let's read the instructions. If I can get them open. Particles and grease may affect bonding. They're given excuses already. Apply a thin layer of adhesive using the applicators. This layer should be thinner than one millimeter. Well, how am I supposed to measure that? You think I'm just gonna walk around with a millimeter measurer? So I apply it with this and then I adhere it with this. Oh, this means business. Do you see this light? All right, now I have to break something to see if it goes back together. Ah, uh, I live a good life. I'm going to break a toothpick because why not? All right, I'm breaking it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that back together. 
Ew, don't poke me. No, oh, I lost it. Put the glue on one millimeter. No clue that was that amount. And then apply the light. One, seven, eight. Now, let's see if you're still sticky. Oh my God, it isn't. Wait, oh my God, that worked. Wait, that genuinely worked. I mean, that part that is glued definitely is glued on. I just didn't glue the rest of it on. That actually worked. Wait, I want to glue things together. Oh, I need something to break. Glue this lid uh -huh, to this thing. All right, great. Good work, me. Add the light. One, two, eight. Oh, yep, nope, that came right off. <laughs> it was a good try though, guys. I think I have glasses that are broken. One minute. Okay, so I couldn't find my glasses, but I found this hairbrush. You know when you're brushing your hair and you get a tangle and then this falls off? Well, I've decided that I'm going to uh, glue this back together. So, you ready? I'm so excited. <laughs> this goes off this way, then the light. Let there be light in my hair. This is supposed to adhere plastic. God, this brush is disgusting looking. <laughs> okay, ready? That came off easier than before. That didn't work at all. It's still kind of sticky. That is the worst. It will get what the light can see, but like in between creases, it can't get like where you want to glue stuff. Well, you never want the glue on the outside. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer. That was just, that made it, you're, you made it easier to break. You, I don't know why I'm talking to the brush. I'm so, I'm not talking to anything. You made it easier. Laser pond, more like laser off. Well, I'm gonna let that dry. And while that's drying, oh, excuse me. I just need to clean up real quick. I'm gonna do Mad Lab Magic Snow. Add water and watch it change. Feels like real snow. Safe and non-toxic for fun only. Guys, you're only allowed to have fun with this. Do not eat. Oh, come on, you said it was safe and non-toxic. Very sciencey of them. Directions, pour a half cup warm water into a container. Measure one cap full of magic snow. Pour snow into the container. Stir, wait for 10 minutes. Stir again. Wait for 10 minutes? No child has patience for this. All right, half cup warm water. Oh, I just splashed that everywhere. <laughs> Pull out a little more. Boop, how did I manage to do that? Now I pull. One cap full of magic snow. Is there a cotton ball on the top of this? This won't come out. What is happening? Excuse me. This is not coming out of this. Where's my toothpick? It's just crusted in. This is the worst product ever. What was the point of the cotton ball? I'm very angry right now. Just nothing coming out. Really? All right, I'm gonna let this happen and we'll come back in 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes and it does look pretty darn cool. I'll give you that. Like it looks, oh, I dropped some. Wait, that feels nothing like snow. Do you see this? It kind of looks like snow, but doesn't feel anything. It feels like a jelly thing. It feels, oh, I hope this is non-toxic because I'm getting it everywhere. Just, oh, look at how it sticks to me. It's sticky to me. That's not what snow does, snow melts. What is this? I don't try, I feel like there's so many chemicals. I got cancer all over my hands just now. I guess it's cool, but it's not snow. The package is like, looks, feels, smells, tastes, but don't eat it like snow. No. Uh, you lying little fiend. Let me build a snowman. Do you wanna build a snowman? Or ride up by the one ball? Oh, a snowball, the food. You know the pink little snowball foods? That's what this feels like, the outside of that. So basically it's probably the same chemicals and you shouldn't eat that either. All right guys, what do you think of my snowman? Oh, we're not done yet, I almost said we're done. We have to see if this held after it dried for a long time, ready? It had a lot longer to dry because it was still kind of wet when I pulled it apart. Okay, so my rating system for this evening. Larry the Ladybug, 10 out of 10. Laser Bond sucks beyond all belief. Actually made it easier to pull things apart. And then this snow at home-ish, I'm gonna give it like a, a passing grade. I'm gonna give it a C. It's not snow, it's, so don't don't lie and say it is. That's all I want in life, just don't lie. <laughs> this is all over my hands, I need to wash. It's also not cold like snow. Snow's cold. Lying package. Okay, that's it for today. Please comment below and let me know if there's any other products you want me to test out or you could tweet me products. I love testing out new things. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see new videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. I'm very surprised with you, Larry, and not so much with you. But this snow is to live for. Ah, it smells like nothing. Is that what snow smells like? What's snow smell like? Does snow have a smell? Okay, that's it for today. But remember guys, above all else, stay awesome, possums. Do you melt?
you do anything? What is the point? Can I put this down the sink? I have so many questions. 